Places around the world are dropping mask mandates. But that doesn't mean you can't wear a mask. So should you? Let's get into it. For many places in the world, masks have not been a new thing. For example, in East Asia, people have been wearing masks for years, especially in the flu season, or if they're sick, just as a courtesy to the people around them. And there's plenty of scientific evidence that masks work, and they've saved lives during the pandemic. We know that the virus is transmitted on these tiny droplets we produce when we cough or sneeze, or even just speaking or breathing. And they mostly travel less than two meters before they hit the ground. But we now also know that the virus travels on these even tinier droplets called aerosols, which get suspended in the air and kind of hang around there for hours. The reason that's important is that masks not only reduce the droplets and aerosols coming from the person wearing the mask, but a well-fitted surgical mask, and especially an N95 mask, will actually block those droplets and aerosols from being inhaled by the person wearing a mask. Studies have shown that masks reduce COVID transmissions within households, in tight quarters like on ships and planes, in places like hair salons, and in schools. More broadly, parts of the world that imposed mask mandates saw fewer infections and fewer deaths. And despite what you may hear out there, masks are safe. In my job as a respiratory specialist, I've been wearing masks for years, sometimes all day. And surgeons have been doing it for decades. So people do like to complain. But it's not really a big deal. We even have studies that show that surgical masks don't impact your ability to breathe effectively, even during exercise. As for oxygen levels, masks do not affect your oxygen levels or your carbon dioxide levels. This is me prepping for this shoot for half an hour with my mask on and a normal saturation throughout. And that's true even in people with severe respiratory conditions and in kids. But like everything in life, masks have pros and cons. If they're blocking particles, it means they're creating a resistance to breathing both in and out, which means they can be a little uncomfortable. They can make it feel like it's hard to breathe. And you might feel a little hot and get sweaty under the mask. And if you're like me, they can fog up your glasses. It's also hard to express yourself in a mask. And we all miss seeing people's faces. Things are also different than they were two years ago. Millions of people have been vaccinated. We've had this very contagious Omicron variant, which means many people got infected. So at this point, through vaccination or infection or a combination of both, the majority of the population has some immunity, which means even if they do catch the virus, they're much less likely to have a severe infection. And these are good things. But your choice to mask doesn't have to be all or nothing. It can depend on the situation. First, it depends where you live. Are there lots of infections in your area? And how's the hospital capacity in your area? Next, it depends on your personal risk. Are you unvaccinated, which means high risk, or are you fully vaccinated with three doses for the best protection? Maybe you have a health condition that makes you more susceptible to severe infection, or maybe you're gonna be around someone who's more susceptible. It also depends where you're going. Outdoors are great because that natural ventilation reduces transmission by almost 19 fold compared to indoors. But if you're going to an indoor space, the smaller the space, the more the people, the less the ventilation, the higher the risk. And if you're going to a place where everyone's vaccinated, it's a lot safer than a place where no one's vaccinated. So lots to think about. For now, I'll still wear my mask on the subway and if I'm shopping and especially when I'm at work. Just make sure you understand the risks and the benefits when you make those choices for yourself. And a mask is not a sign of weakness. It's a badge of honor. It's a simple thing you can do to protect those around you, especially those who are more vulnerable. So even if all mask mandates go away, there are situations where for now, you will still want a mask. The pandemic is still with us, the virus can still mutate, so no matter what you decide, don't throw your masks out just yet. For more health and science videos, subscribe to the feed.